Hello friends, today I'm going to solve with code problem number 104, maximum depth of binary tree. In this problem, we are given a root of a binary tree and we need to return the maximum depth. Well, maximum depth is the number of nodes in the longest path from root node to the leaf node. So let's look at this example here and try to find out the longest path. So we start from the root node here and we know that this is a leaf node these are leaf nodes basically leaf nodes are the nodes which doesn't have any children and since it's a binary tree it on each node has maximum of two children so what we do is we start from the root node and uh, we perform depth first traversal so the fs search we go to the um left of the root tree root node at, until and unless we find our leaf, leaf so while we are at root node our depth is equals to one once we move to its uh, node a child node the depth increases so now our depth here is equals to two now what ha what happens is since it doesn't have any children we backtrack and then we go towards its right child so we go to it's its right child now the depth becomes equals to two so far the maximum depth is two right now for this node we have the left and right child so we go to its left and now the depth becomes equals to three now since this is a, a leaf node we backtrack from here and then we go back to uh, not go back but we go to its our uh, right subtree right and we find that uh, this node is a leaf node so uh, the depth here is three and we backtrack from this node so far our maximum depth we found is equals to three so we backtrack basically and then and the result that we found is equals to three so we return the value three so this is one way we could solve this problem that is the bottom uh, top down approach the another way is to solve this problem using bottom up approach let me just show you how that would look like okay so what we do is we start from the root node we keep on going until and unless we have found our leaf node now this is our leaf node we know that so what we do is since this is a leaf node um and there are no other children here so we return a value zero and a zero to this node so once we have returned the value zero we keep increasing the depth so now at this point the depth is equals to one now we backtrack uh, to our root node and we find the depth equals to two here Now what we do is we go towards its right and then traverse its children so we go to its right again left again and then uh, this node doesn't have any children so the depth here is equals to one um, and we return the value one to this node and then again we go to its right node and since it is also a, a uh, leaf node let's just suppose that there is one more node here so it goes to its um, child node again and now it's a leaf node here so depth becomes equals to one now the value one is returned to this node um, so basically the maximum uh, depth of this node is equals to the depth from its left uh, subtree and the right subtree and the maximum of those now what's the depth of its left subtree basically there is no left subtree here so this, the depth would be close to zero here so that would be zero so we zero and one so one is maximum here right so we return the value one and then we add it, it to it the value one so now the depth of this node becomes equals to two 
and this value 2 is then returned to its parent node so now again here the between value 1 and the value 2 returned by its two children we take the maximum and then we add a 1 so 2 is the maximum so we add a 1 we get the value 3 here now we return the value 3 to its parent uh, to its root node so basically we we are not actually assigned the value here so far so we return the value 3 and from this uh, root child node to this root we return a value one now between these two three is the maximum right so we take the value three and then we add a one to it so four becomes the depth of this whole tree so is four the correct answer well of course this is the longest path and the depth is we have one two three and four nodes so it's four now let's try to solve our problem using the bottom-up approach so what are we going to do is if we encounter a root node that is null then what we do is we return the value zero right because when we um, went to its child node and since there are no child node um we return the value one, zero to its parent node so we return the value zero and then what we do is we take the value from its both left and right child right and we take the maximum of those so we need the left value from from each of its children so uh, root left and similarly we are going to do it for the right and finally what are we doing here is we are taking the maximum of the both of the child right and adding a one to it so we take the maximum maximum of left right add a plus one to it and that becomes the value that's returned to its parent node so basically we got the maximum here too we returned it to our parent node and one as well and so on so this is our final uh, code let's try to run our code and submit it so the time complexity for this solution e would be equals to since we are traversing each of the nodes to the left and to the right so that would be o of n and the space complexity is constant